This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff, so you get the videos I put them out. So you don't think it's him analyzing that data, but like I tell every day, the data they release us is false, meant to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, Virtual Financial was in the middle of negotiations with the SEC concerning their use of customers' information. And it seems that Virtue could not come to an agreement with the SEC. So there's a distinct possibility that the SEC and Virtue might end up in a civil lawsuit. Now, here's the thing. Why couldn't they come to an agreement? Was Virtue not offering the SEC a big enough cut of the profits? Is that why they couldn't come to an agreement? The bottom line is this. Virtue is accused of misusing customers' information because they're like a, a market maker and they're like a hedge fund. Well, in a sense. So there's allegations that Virtue was using customer data, sharing it with their market maker department in order to possibly trade ahead of the client's and make additional money, which, you know, in my opinion, is considered insider trading. But I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell virtue, or invest with virtue, or not invest with virtue. What I'm saying is this. They, not just virtue, a lot of companies continue to continually violate the law. And the reason they're able to do that is because there's no real consequences. Now, right now, in any other industry, if people were engaged in this type of behavior, it wouldn't just be a, a possible, a possible civil penalty. Penalty. There would be criminal penalties also. But because these bad actors hardly ever have to deal with any criminal pen, penalties for violating the law, they continue to do what they want in the market. They continue to engage in activity that robs money from retail investors and pension funds, and the SEC is in cahoots with them. But sometimes when they don't want to offer the SEC a big enough cut of the profits, then there is a possibility that they will end up in civil litigation, which they really don't mind because they've made billions of dollars violating the law that a little lawsuit might be entertaining to them. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that Virtue and the SEC couldn't come to an agreement because Virtue didn't want to give SEC a big enough cut of the profits? And do you think that there should be criminal liability to these bad actors for violating the law? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.